India's post-Ladakh strategy must focus on the post-pandemic world order. Along with its borders, India must also secure its alliances, its economy, the future of one of the world's youngest populations, and India's leadership role in the post-pandemic world. India's strategy must be pillared on strategic autonomy and strategic alliances. Can the two be achieved together? What do these terms mean? Let's start with strategic alliances. These are partnerships that go beyond trade and defense procurement. They're about combining and connecting expertise with a focus on mutual growth. In the Cold War era, India believed in non-alignment. Today, India is building strategic alliances. It is taking into account the changing world order and strengthening diplomatic ties with an eye on the future. I'll give you, I'll give you some examples. Look at India's ties with West Asia. It is no longer anchored on oil or diaspora. The two sides are also working towards economic and strategic goals. Saudi Arabia has invested its sovereign funds in India. The money fuels India's growth while helping Saudi Arabia diversify its economy. It's a symbiosis for the new world order. The strengthening of the alliance is paralleled by changing geopolitics. West Asia is distancing itself from Pakistan. It's a country which happens to be India's staunch enemy. It's also a country that is growing closer to China. So India and Saudi Arabia signed the Strategic Partnership Council Agreement in October 2019. There are common foes, there are common goals. Strategic alliances are also built on mutual support for domestic and foreign policies. Here's another example, India's ties with France. Over the years, the two countries have had trade and defense ties. The relationship has now graduated into a strategic alliance. France openly supports India's desire for a permanent seat at the UN Security Council. France has used its position at the world body to back India on Kashmir. India stood by France when it was being attacked over the profits caricature. The two countries have also cooperated in the space sector. Common values are also crucial in a strategic alliance. Let's look down under India's alliance with Australia. Both believe in democracy and sovereignty. Both are opposed to Chinese aggression and both back stability in the Indo-Pacific. In June 2020, India and Australia announced the elevation of bilateral ties to a quote-unquote common strategic partnership. I could go on because India has strategic partnership agreements with over 30 countries. India is running an outreach program, the scale of which is unmatched. New Delhi must build on them as it continues to push for a multipolar world. Here is something else that India must continue to do. Steer clear of taking sides in tussles involving allies. India must continue its policy of dehyphenation. It has proven to be a huge diplomatic success. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was India's first head of government to visit Israel. He was also India's first Prime Minister to visit Palestine in a long time. Today, India and Israel are working together in various fields, including science, technology and agriculture. At the same time, India is calling for a two-state solution. Here's another example. India buys weapons from Russia, but con continues to partner with America in securing the Indo-Pacific. The U.S. and Russia have long been foes. India has found a way to work with both. This is what strategic autonomy looks like. India knows what it means to not be autonomous. We have a colonial past. Our recent history tells us what it means to have our sovereignty challenged. As India chalks out its strategic alliances for the years ahead, it must draw a clear line. Ensure that ties are built on mutual respect for autonomy, aversion for expansionism, Hawkeye diplomacy and provocation. Solving the Ladakh stalemate was India's strategic priority. With the dragon off its back now, for the moment at least, India can now focus on its outreach programs, cement its alliances, rebuild its economy and with all hands on deck, prepare itself for a much-awaited leadership role in the post-pandemic world. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.